Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video to show you how to do a complete teardown and reassembly on the Huawei SN Mate 2. So to remove the back cover, what we will need to do is start right here in this notch right up here. You can put your thumb in there and just kind of pry up gently and just work your way around all the way around and the whole thing pops off just like that. Next what you will need to do is have a Phillips screwdriver size 000 and I'll include a link in the video description where I got the, my tool set to work on this if you need one. Um, any tools that I'll be using throughout this I'll include links for that um, where I got this phone. Anything that I think might be helpful to you I'll include links for that in the video description so be sure to check it out. So what you'll need to do next is you'll need to remove these 10 11 screws all the way around here and they're all the same size, they're all Phillips. Now just watch, there's one right here under the by the end of the SIM card tray and it has a sticker over it so you might not know that's a screw but make sure to peel that sticker off and remove that one as well. So next what we'll need to do is remove this back part. Now you will have something like this here, this uh, pry tool is what works good for me. And I would say start in this bottom corner right here and you'll want to start right here where between the screen and the side part here and just kind of go in there and you can see it starts separating and just kind of slide down through and then so you what you want to do is just keep working your way around all the way around see how it's starting to separate and then so you can just keep working around since you started in this corner you can just keep going all the way down through. Then when you get to the top part here, you can just lift it right off. Just like that. To remove the logic board, what you'll need to do is use your Phillips screwdriver and take out a black screw here and a black screw here. I already did it, so just wanted to show you that. So next, what you're going to want to do is disconnect this antenna wire right here carefully and then you're going to want to take, I like to use this plastic pry tool so it doesn't damage anything with the connectors and so what you're going to want to do is disconnect the rear camera right here you're going to want to disconnect the battery right here you're going to want to disconnect this connector by prying up and you're going to want to disconnect this connector by prying up and then, now that that's all loose, you can go ahead and from this side carefully go underneath it and pry up the logic board. Watch so the front camera likes to come up with it. And then you kind of have to, there's, it's got a notch here right here, so you kind of have to turn this way a little bit clockwise as you bring it up. Now just bring it up carefully, there's still a connector here that we need to disconnect. So once it's rolled up all the way, we'll need to pry this connector loose here. And it has a little adhesive right here to hold it on. So there you go. To change the volume power button flex cable, what you will need to do is, it's this part right here. I'm going to show you and it goes right over here. It's a little bit hard to show since it's on the side here, but what I would like to focus on is to try to start with this antenna wire right here just pull it up a little bit past this right here and then what I'd like to do is start on the top here on this top part and get under this top part right here get behind it with something sharp like the tweezers or something and then you can just kind of work your way down, see how that's loosening up? Just work your way down through. And then when it gets to this part here, you can just start right here at the bottom and wiggle this part here. Slide up under there. And then that whole part comes off just like that. To completely tear down so you can change your screen or Whatever you want to do, if you got uh, another screen, you want to swap everything over to it. Um, what we'll need to do next is take the battery out. 
So what I would say is I just have a pry tool like this, a flat pry tool. And if you start like in this upper top corner here, now this has lots of adhesive under it, so you want to just go under here and be careful and just kind of wiggle your way as you come across. Maybe start in this corner here as well. And then just pry up as much as you dare. And if it doesn't want to come very much, you can start on this side as well. Because sometimes one side is a little more adhesive than the other. And you can just do that and then the whole thing comes out. To remove the charging port so you can swap it over. I'd say just have something that's a little bit sharp so you can slide under this. That's skinny and start at the top part and just slide underneath it like this. It has adhesive under it so just kind of work over these bumps as you come down through. And then when you get down here at the bottom, if it's loose enough you can just tip the whole thing up and it comes right out. To remove the rear camera, what you'll need to do is pick up underneath this where this is, the uh, connector, and you can just go underneath there, it's got adhesive under it, just kind of wiggle it, and the whole thing comes right off. To remove the vibrator, just go ahead and get under this one corner here and with something sharp like this and you can just get under it and wiggle it and it comes right off. To remove the earpiece speaker there's a little slot right in this upper top corner here that you can get under and you just want to wiggle under it and same thing just kind of bring it up and then it comes right out. So the last thing that you want to change over to your new screen to tear down is right here this green part here, this little board, we're going to want to take two black screws out here and then you're going to want to go under it here with the tweezers like this and you can just kind of pry up. It's got a little part that lets loose here. And then you can just keep it attached to this if you want and then you want to pull this up and transfer that over to your board and then you want to put your new little board back in, just press it down till it seats right and then put your two screws back in. This is what you will do when you have a new frame as you need to swap things over. So this is in no particular order but what I'm going to start with is the charging port down here and just set that down in. Make sure it's pressed down firmly everywhere. It kind of clips in here and there so you want to do that and then the rear camera you can just set it right down in it's really easy to, to it fits right in where it needs to go just make sure the connector is pointed upwards then the earpiece speaker you're going to want to set that down in where it goes and it has the prongs that stick up the f furthest like up towards you this way and it needs to go down, those prongs do, the, high, the highest points of those prongs. So you can just set that down in, press it down in where it goes. And then the vibrator. I'm going to be using my tweezers so you can see with my fingers. Otherwise if I just use my fingers, you wouldn't be able to see anything. But it has two prongs or, or two holes where it has to line up there. So that has to go in there and then the battery has to go and we can set it right against this for sideways so just make sure that sits down in like that make sure this connector is up so now the way you want to reinstall is this part here that we took apart last has some holes here where it has to line up right here so that's to keep it right for up and down this way so then we can go ahead and stick that down and then we can just go ahead and stick all this part down right where it needs to go and then just press down on it carefully if you're using something sharp be careful so you don't damage anything and just make sure it's seated on properly just the way it goes to reinstall the logic board what you'll need to do is first reconnect this connector right here that comes off the side, this black one. And then you'll be able to flip this over. And now one thing that you're going to have to watch is this rear camera flex connector right there. 
So I'm just going to poke it up with this black thing. Make sure it comes through the hole here. And then you'll also need to watch this battery connector here. Everything likes to come out and be in the way. And then you can make sure that it goes under this little notch right here first. And then you can go ahead and click it into this little one here too. There's a notch there, but it's got a little plastic thing that needs to go in under there as well. And then so, then you can go ahead, make sure that the front camera here is in the right spot. And then you can go ahead and start reconnecting stuff like this connector right here, the battery connector, this connector down here needs to get reconnected. And then the rear camera needs to get reconnected. And this antenna wire here needs to get connected. And then go ahead and put your two screws back in. To put the back part back on, just grab it and set it down. And I would say start with the top, lining up the top. And just start clicking it in all the way around. Just make sure that it's seated all the way around. Then you can go ahead and put all your 11 screws back in all the way around. To put the back cover back on, just set it down. Start with the top, work your way around all the way around. And you're good to go. Thanks for watching.